Well, I mean, you've talked about, uh, you know, when the whole Me Too thing started to really bubble, mm -hmm. um, you said that uh, the art of trying to fuck is over. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the Me Too, the culture changing as it should. And I couldn't really necessarily say the art of fucking, <laughs> the actual takedown is over. Just, you know, just that whole pursuit, the way it was a, um, you know, it was the way it used to be was kind of, I've been educating myself, man. We, you know, we were doing things inappropriately at times. We were, we were really like fucking breathing down females necks and just, just let me fuck, let me fuck, let me fuck. You know what I mean? Not even people who were raping or assaulting or being inappropriate, just guys that just were fucking horny. Like, can I fuck, can I fuck, can I fuck, can I fuck? It was a mm -hmm. whole big, like five guys hanging out. What you trying to do? We trying to fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're trying to find girls to fuck. That was, so I just say, it, it may be just my life, but it just seems to be a better time now where, you know, we gotta, you gotta respect, you gotta be in mutual respect. You gotta, you know, you gotta, it's a certain way that you gotta meet a woman, you know what I mean? I mean, people are and, still fucking. Yeah, but you know, I, I kind of, um, I kind of think that uh, all that workplace, you know, all that shit, you can't go to the, to the water, to water cooler without a coworker talking about your ass, look, sir, all that shit, that's what I'm talking about. Just the, the, the thirst of it. Yeah. It kind of, you know, and, and it's, I think it's the right time for this shit though, man, because we just elected a president who still got elected after being quoted as saying, grab him by the pussy. Right. And you know, the Me Too movement came in and it didn't even apply to his ass. Pretty much. <laughs> you know? He, so, still, he still has a job. So at the same time, we started, men and women, we started kind of checking ourselves. Forced to. We were, you know, the, the society took a big look and said, this shit is bullshit. All these bosses spanking their uh, secretaries on the ass. All this shit just been going on for 50 fucking years. Let's end it. So I think it's a good thing, bro. But I'm, I'm also saying that I was one of the thirsty guys, just like, yeah. let me fuck, let me fuck. But, but you right. Know, I mean, if you talk about someone, you know, because your, your theme throughout really all your albums has been sex. Yeah. You know, you did not drop a conscious album my, at some my, point. You know, my, <laughs> my approach was, hey, what's up? Can I get my dick sucked? That was, right, you know, exactly. And I wasn't biting my tongue. I, and no. it wasn't uh, anything other than <laughs> sincere. <laughs> right. What do you think? was your greatest sexual exploit? Like, what, what was the most over-the-top thing you ever did sexually? Oh, man. I, did, I, I had an over-the-top sexual life. I understand that. So, <laughs> but if you were to pick one night, <laughs> one absolutely crazy situation. Oh, well, um, Vlad, man, <laughs> the stories from me would be, the, sto the normal stories would be unbelievable. Then I tell you these spectacular stories, and, I, give me I, one. Give me one spectacular story. Come on. I've done everything that they haven't done, man. I mean, with, with uh, how many like, women at one time? The most number of women naked, right there, with you. I've been in a house full of housefuls of naked women. I housefuls. Mean, I probably in one night uh, I fucked four different chicks. All everybody's in the same room and just whatever. I, but we've done that a lot of times, man. It's like yeah, I've done I've done three at one, you know, same yeah. night. So it's like it's like it's not really that wild even to me. To my to my I'm the kind of guy who I, I I've had a lot of menage a trois. Yeah. But when you sit there and saying I'm in the house with three, four, five chicks, we kicking and we just having a good night, whatever. I'm not like everybody come lay in the bed with me. It might be a about a you know a good twelve hour encounter of falling asleep, waking up in this room, that room, and you just like by the end of the weekend or something, a lot of sex has happened. You know, I've, I've yeah. had fun weekends, like just not not an encounter. Like you go somewhere and you just in a fucking, I used to I used to always go to Vegas and get, um, people like to go get like, you like get a hotel suite or whatever. I would get a suite and then I would get the adjoining room to the suite and then open all the damn doors. So we got this big ass thing. I'd probably invite out like maybe like, eight, nine, 10 chicks. I'm not trying to fuck them all. Sometimes I wouldn't even try to fuck any of them, but at the end of the weekend, it's just, it's just been a great weekend. It's just been like, <laughs> right. you know, it's just everybody walk, gets comfortable. They all walk around the room naked. They're laying around and they getting dressed in front of me. I just, I, I live that life. Yeah. I live that life a lot for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And 
it just was, you know, the people who know me, they just, it was just normal. I just, I hang out with these chicks. Uh, it looks to be like, oh, he probably trying to fuck out, but they, I, I was on that vibe where these are my friends, whether I'm getting hit tonight or just laying next to her. I mean, these, this is, we, we like a family, so mm -hmm. I, I did that lifestyle.